Welcome to the 2015 NCHA World Finals. We just had the $5,000 novice non-pro event decided and it was a close competition. I'm here with the winner, Michelle Barnes, who rode Timely Edition. She is the world champion winner and the finals winner. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, you had two competitors. You were actually placed third coming into this event. Yeah. Um, you're all about $300 apart, so extremely close. Yeah. Tell us about your competitors and what your game plan was. Um, so when when the first of November rolled around, I was still sitting first by you know a healthy margin, and then my horse got a little sore, so we just decided we're going to turn him out, and he can stay home until the World Finals. Well, very slowly, guess what? I became second, I became third, and so here's this gap. And so when we rolled in yesterday, I thought, well, if I can just hold on, you know, to third or second. So then yesterday ends and I'm still sitting third. So then when that gap, that margin got so tight between us top three and the first place gal goes in and marks a 224, Mike Wood, Les Bates, they turn around and look at me and they said, you have to go big or go home. <laughs> so um, went in and very, very fortunate that the cows were cooperative and you know we marked a 227 so that was enough then with the average and winning today to put me then up into first place because I really was kind of holding on to that last rung on the ladder so it worked out well today. Yeah yeah, yeah you really pulled it out 227 is a great score I mean 218 is still a really fair score uh, which was yeah. your score in the first go. <laughs> yes I was very pleased yesterday but today was really. What do you think you did differently? Um, yesterday I had a couple of times when I just was a little short, didn't really give it my all going to the corner. And so today I thought, wham, I have forgot to get there every single time. And um, that horse, I mean, when the crowd got louder and louder, he just went, wah. He just got better and better as the run progressed. So, and maybe as a rider, you relax too. So, um, because when the buzzer went off, I didn't know the buzzer went off. Everybody was yelling so loud. You know, it was really exciting. Very exciting. Well, now, you've had Timely Edition for about a little over 12 months or 18 months or so? Oh, no. We've had him since he was five. So we've had about three years. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, that's um, all right. Uh, how, what is it that you like about this horse and competing on it? Um, he would literally almost cut that tripod if it would move just a little bit. He's very, very, very cowy. Um, he, he has a really interesting personality. Like right now he would be, you know, getting into your business, seeing what you have, but he is very, very cowy. He doesn't know the word quit. He just goes and gives it his all every time. A lot of heart. Oh yes. I never feel like he's weak hearted or like, ah, I'd rather do something different. Try again tomorrow. No, he's always 100%. So Now, this was the first year you hauled, is that right? The first and the last. So tell us about that. What was your decision to haul and what that experience was like? Yeah. So last summer, uh, Mike Wood, Roper Curtis, our two trainers, sat down and said to my husband and myself, would you be interested in hauling? You know, there's this group of customers who are, and um, you would haul in the 50 am and then timely addition they said we'll let you show him in the 5,000 and then if you need him for 50 amp backup we have him okay so we made the commitment and starting January 1st that's what we did is um, I showed him in the 5 just in case I needed him in the 50 and then pretty soon I started looking at the standings going well this might be doable to be you know in the top five and so it, we were very fortunate that it worked out that we stayed in the top five and, and here we are so and how was life on the road it was very, very interesting. So we bought a fifth wheel trailer because we live so far up in the Northwest, there aren't any cuttings, you know, in the winter, everything shuts down. And so we bought a fifth wheel trailer, we parked it at Mike and Roper's, hooked it up, and we would take our living quarters to the shows, come home and get out of the living quarters and get into our fifth wheel. So I bet you I've only been home maybe half a dozen times in the year so my husband and I are ready to go home and stop living in a trailer for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've obviously ga gave it the commitment it needed. So what's next for you? Um, well, tomorrow morning, I have a three-year-old that I'm going to show in the amateur. And um, the fellow that we have it in training with, Russ Elrod, he looked at me the other day. He goes, now, 
how many three-year-olds have you shown? And I said, Russ, I have never ridden a three-year-old. So tomorrow will be a brand new game. Well, right. You'll have fun. Oh, yes. If nothing else, it'll be fun. So the look on Russ's poor face was a little bit shocked, but he'll get over it. Well, congratulations and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.